Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 24 in chapter 17. Chapter 17 is about temperature, thermal expansion, and ideal gas law. Now, in this case, we connect the thermal work, thermal problems with the rotation problems, right? In these problems about the this cylindrical wheels. And we can see what quantity is given. First one tell us the mass of this cylindrical wheel and then tell us the initial radius. And also the initial angular velocity there, temperature changes from 20 degree to 95 degree, we can get it a change is 75 degree, right? And then ask you to find the fractional change in omega. So fractional change in omega. But there are also some keyword we need to take care. This part tell us the materials for this cylindrical wheel. And this can lead to we find the thermal expansion coefficient. You can check your textbook, it is alpha for this materials. And also, it also take another keyword to us this one, right? Cylindrical. So we can get it a momentum of erasure, one half mr squared. So now this is given quantities. We can see in this work, is there any external force act on this uh, cylindrical wheel? No. So make the cylindrical rotational momentum is conserved, agree? So initially momentum equal to five momentum, or final momentum, right? And the rotational momentum is I times omega. I naught times omega naught equal to I times omega. So now we look at I naught, can we find it? Yes, one half mR naught squared, right? Yes, now omega naught is given. Now we look at the I. So for I is the momentum of, of E ratio at the final. So one half mR squared. This R is the, the radius at the temperature 95 degree. Agree? Yes, and it is just do some thermal expansion, right? Have some so the R increased with the R naught in this function. So we can say delta R is the radius change thermal expansion. Linear thermal expansion with R minus R naught equal to alpha R naught delta T, right? So this one we consider the thermal expansion, and in this one we can write the function for R. In this function, right? Now we get this R, we can input it inside this function, get the final momentum of erasure I, right? Now you can see in this way you can find the function for omega. Is I naught omega naught divided by i and input is i naught and r inside and then you can see mass mass can be cancelled one half on half cancelled so it can be simplified as this one right now we can see the question ask you the fraction changes in omega so fraction changes in omega so it is omega minus omega naught divided by omega naught right this is like percent error and then we input is omega inside we can get the function look like this one and simplify you get the function look like this one because we know delta t is very small agree delta t is very small so um, we can ignore this term because this alpha delta t is very small compared to one so this term can be ignored because it's two times it's squared right and also delta t delta t is uh, two times right delta t times delta t delta t squared, so this term can be ignored. Then we can get the function finally look like this one. And the input, no known quantity inside, we get a final answer there. Thank you.